Hi, welcome to another product demonstration. Uh, today we are talking SP Tools battery analyzers, and particularly all of our resistance style analyzers. So we're gonna go through the, the whole program. There's three models in the range, and we'll look at each one, what it can and can't do, and then go through from basically your starter model right through to our top of the range model. So starting here, this is our very basic battery analyzer, 12 volt, six, 1060. This is basically just a battery analyzer only, it has no other function. If I plug it in quickly and we'll have a look at it. Put that one on. We can see here it has a very basic function. Menu one is the analyzer. Yes, that's what we want to do. Is it in or out of the vehicle? No, it's in the vehicle. And uh, are we doing a CCA test? Yes, we are. It's currently there at 500. So we should be able to, oh, should be able to rate that up to 600 which is what the battery is there we go enter and now it'll run a test and it will give us a result on the screen there we go 12.1 volts 345 internal resistance is 9.5 milliamps the health is 33 percent and it suggests and the charge is only 16 percent it's a good battery and needs a recharge so that's our test one test two or tester two this is a little further up the scale, so it has the same function as that in the battery tester, but it also has the ability to test your uh, alternator and your starting system, so it tests all three systems. Put that one on quickly, and I, I will quickly show you, as you can see there. Actually, this has a fourth function as well. So not only can it do a battery test, it can also do a... Um, so let's we'll go back. It can also do a... Uh, uh, a quick test, which means you can set it up quickly so you can repeat the same test over and over and over. We won't do that for this function. We'll just enter here in the battery and vehicle and it'll say, do we want to perform a battery test, a cranking test or a charging test? Uh, enter, tell it gives you some instructions on how to run a, a more accurate battery test, turn the headlights on and off. We won't do that for this thing, but just so you say we have done it. Enter again, regular flooded. AGM spirals, gels, EFEs, all the different type of batteries are there. Enter again, CCA we're going to run, it's a 600 battery, enter again and it'll process the test. Our last one is basically the same, basically the same, let's pack that over there. Basically the same functions as our 61062, but in this case we also have the inbuilt printer. So we'll hook that one on. There we go. Comes on, gives us a voltmeter reading to start the, to start the function. We'll enter into the system, one or the other. And it's just warming up. There we are. Um, again, same as the previous one, battery test, cranking test, charging test. So we can pick, depending on which one we pick, it will give you instructions as you go on how to do it. So in this case, battery test, again, what, what type of battery are we running? So we're gonna select regular flooded. We're doing a CCA test. We could change that to an amp hour or any other number. See all the different schedules or types of batteries there. You can roll through them all the way back to, oops, CCA. So we're gonna run a 600 CCA test. And again, we're gonna do the test. This time we will get to the end of the test and it will give us the option now, do we want to print it? Yes, we do want to print it. Hit our thing and it will print out our data so that we can show the customer the results of the test that we performed in the workshop. And there's our print result with the date and the time and all the details of the battery. And that's our three testers. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a, hope you had a learning experience in our uh, product demonstration and we'll see you next time.